me. I have no doubt that Donald Trump won this election in a landslide, the likes of which we'll never really know the final numbers. I think he probably even broke Barack Obama's record in the popular vote, but we'll never know with all the votes that got flipped by the machines, all the Trump ballots that were burned, all the fake Biden ballots and everything. But Dr. Steve Pachenik, uh, as we're in the middle of this, the election's over. We're now in the stealing process of the election. Uh, what are you seeing? What's going through your mind as you're witnessing this gigantic hoax? Number one, it's not a hoax. What's happening now, and the reason I couldn't come on the Alex Jones show last night was I was not given the permission that I needed to in order to say what I'm about to say now. I do not work for the federal government. I'm not paid by them. Let me just say again what I said in 2016. There are honorable members of our intelligence, military, and civilian community in the government who understood exactly how corrupt Biden and the Democratic machinery is, was, and will be. This is really a sting operation. Contrary to what everybody else said, Trump knew this was happening. Eric knew this was happening and warned the public. I knew this was happening. However, I could not say anything about it. What happened was we marked, watermarked every ballot with what's called the QFS blockchain encryption code. In other words, we know pretty well where every ballot is, where it went, and who has it. So this is not a stolen election. On the contrary, we reversed the entire game of war along the lines of Sun Tzu, the art of war. And Trump was brilliant and still is brilliant at it. The reason he hasn't been seen, and Alex correctly said, oh, I haven't seen him in several days. Well, in the art of the war, you pull back, allow your enemy to make all the mistakes that they are making, manipulate the situation, expose them, and then come in for the final killing. And that's what's happening now. None of this was unexpected. All of this was expected. All of this is part of the sting operation we're running. And let me tell you that 48 hours ago, not only did we put markers on those ballots, but I can say now, with the permission of people in the intelligence community and elsewhere, that we have sent out thousands and thousands of National Guards to 12 different states, Washington, Delaware, Texas, Arizona, Alabama, and everywhere. So now you have to consider and rethink what this is really about. The genius of Trump is that he is able to pull back at any point and manipulate the opponent without the opponent ever realizing. He has said repeatedly, hashtag steal the vote. That's exactly what he has said for months. Then he made a very clear implication. He said, I will use common sense or my intelligence, i.e. both literal and figurative intelligence. And those of us in the intelligence community, be it who they are, again, what I said in 2016, when we exposed Hillary Clinton, we now exposed, and it was Trump who initiated this, Biden family, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, Jill Biden, Jim Biden, Frank, the whole family was played right into a game where they were convicted and you're seeing what's happening now. What was not announced was that we watermarked all the ballots with what I said at the QFS blockchain, which is a very hard encryption code to break. And the second thing is we sent as I probably 20,000 or, or more our National Guards 48 hours ago, none of it was reported, and I thank the press for not reporting it and others. So what in fact is happening is you're seeing a sophisticated sting operation that was initiated by Trump. I'm just a lowly peasant in this game, and honestly, I was informed that I could say something about it today only last night. That's why I could not come on. Well, you so just this is the reverse of what you guys have been thinking. It's not a civil war. We have not been surprised in any way. This has been a set up by Trump for a long, long time. In the same way that we knew about Hillary Clinton, I warned about the coup that we we would do a counter coup, and this is our counter coup again. 
against the Bidens. And that's exactly what we expected. The corruption in the mail, the corruption in USPS, with corruption with the Democrats everywhere and anywhere. There was no surprise here. And that's why we deployed National Guard soldiers to 12 different states. Well, uh, Steve, you've just broken certainly perhaps the biggest news since the election here on this show. Uh, I have to play this out logically in my head. Our oh, arrest, our that's arrest. why I go on your show to basically, I keep saying. Well, I love you, Steve. I'd kiss you on the lips right now if it wasn't digitally. Can't. But uh, can't. There's too many people watching us. We're open like that. We're tolerant. But, but Steve, following your logic here, I mean, are arrests inevitably coming down the road? Yeah. They're coming not just down the road. They're being implemented. Oh. We'll be arrested as of tonight, tomorrow, and it will go on for quite a while. And this was a total sting operation that I can say. So I explain. Not uh, by anybody else. Well, well, as I you... have the permission to say it. I do not deal with classified information, as you know. I do not work for our government, but because I'm loyal to the republic, and I work with a lot of people who are loyal to this republic, including the 16 intelligence services, the Secret Service, our civilian service. They've all been great, and they've kept it quiet. And I've been given the permission to say what I've just said. I have nothing more to say, but this is not a surprise here. This is the biggest sting operation probably in our country that we've ever had. Well, and, and it would be— it would be the genius of Trump, but, but Steve, I got to ask in the last minute 45 here to kind of hone in. So how is this watermark on the ballots, wh what is the significance of that as to, is it going to stop from fake ballots being counted or, or how is that going to be used? Well, we use it in any way that we need to use it in terms of counting, knowing which ones were fake, which ones were not. It's a very sophisticated code. So if you just throw them away, these are cyber communication uh, implementations that we have the code for. We know exactly what was thrown away. We know exactly what was placed. We know exactly who has it, and we know exactly where it went. I can't go any further than that. Wow, this is uh, huge news that Steve Pachenik is breaking on our show right now. For me to reiterate, I, I guess in my own words, President Trump and his administration and friendlies inside the White House in D.C. have launched a sting operation, knowing this Democrat fraud was coming. And, you know, Steve, you said Trump's been talking about this for months. Months, Actually, it's really been years. This is from President Trump on October 10th, 2012. He said, it doesn't matter who you vote for. It matters who is counting the votes.